Hey everybody, we're covering the Stockton housing market update for the month of December 2022. Uh, my name is Dave McKeever, this is Richard Hundley. We are brokers uh, in Stockton, California. Uh, we're gonna get in right into the numbers, Richard. On the chart behind us here, it shows the amount of homes on the market, the amount of pending sales, and the amount of homes sold. Uh, the first thing I wanna touch at is the amount of homes on the market. That's 448 homes came on the market or are actively on the market in November of 2022. That's a decline from the previous five months that it reached over 500. So that's it's fallen a little bit. And I think, Richard, that's probably a little bit of a seasonal thing, don't you think? I think so. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, you've mentioned it before, too, that I think we're just when the buyers put the brakes on. I think maybe the sellers did too. Yeah, so the number of homes on the market is still up from one year ago. We've seen about a 28% increase from a year ago. Last year, there were 349 homes on the market in November. Again, now we're at 448. I think a bigger story though for this last month was there was 146 homes that sold. And that's a really low number. That's the lowest yeah, number is. we've seen in the last uh, 12 months on this chart or 14 months. Uh, and that's a decline of 58% from one year ago. And that month, there were 303 homes sold a year ago. So a lot less just activity happening overall as far as listings down, sales down. What did the pending sales do? Pending sales, fortunately, showed a little bit of an upturn yeah. here. And that's, I think, going to help the sales if it continues to go up some. So that's mm -hmm. a good thing. And, you know... The brakes went on when the interest rates took off, and we're seeing the results of that. Yeah, so you know maybe uh, there's still activity going on. I mean, there's the market hasn't stopped altogether, as you can right. see that the pending sales. There are buyers out there looking actively looking to purchase and move. Uh, perhaps they're getting used to the new rates here of, of six and a half or so as 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 the date of this shooting. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah in the next couple of months, hopefully get more used to it and mm -hmm. inflation loosens up a little. All right, so there's a lot of confusion and noise in the marketplace about things crashing. Let's look at what the housing prices have done here recently. Okay, on this chart, have some good news for us mm -hmm. here. This is your sold price versus what it was for sale. And in a really good market, the closer those lines are, the better off you are. And you can see that they've inched a little bit closer. The 455 on the average sale price is holding or up a tick from last month at 449. David, I think you have some more numbers on that, but that's pretty good that we're holding in what looks like on the outside yeah. looks like a possible crash, and it's not. Well, yeah, given the given what's happened to rates this year in the, in the last really six months, um, yeah. there's so much noise out there that home prices have crashed and are going down. Now, the market is definitely favoring, in my opinion, the buyers a little bit more than they yeah. were six, seven, eight months ago. Yes. Prices are off the, the highs, about 5%. But the last five months here, they are steadily, they are flatlining out. So there hasn't been any sort of major crash in sight, or, right. and, nor has it happened in the last five months. So relatively stable, stable market right now. Well, buyers, you definitely have it better than you did a few months ago. But sellers, you still have it pretty good too, just a little bit off the peak. Yeah, and on the next chart, we're going to show you why it's so much more favorable for the buyers right now. Okay, here on the chart behind us, we're talking about two things really favoring buyers a little bit more than they are sellers. Uh, and the first one is the line across the top. It's the green line. And in November, it said that was at 95%. So what's that mean? That means that homes are selling for 95% basically of what they're listed for. Uh, so there's a little bit of downward pressure on, on sellers, on prices to take offers that are under the asking prices. And we really haven't seen this in probably three or four years to be, actually it was 94%, my mistake, but in the last two, three years, it, they've been well over 100%. We've had, we all know you've had to go over asking price, right. multiple, you're competing with multiple offers. So now as somebody looking to potentially buy here in the near future, uh, this is a very great, good stat for them. It is, and, but the number is shaded just a little bit because when the market changes like this, we tend to get some overpriced listings, and That's then true. they have to reduce. Yeah. 
to find the market again, and then that lowers that number. So we're still doing pretty good. Mm -hmm. Now this bottom part of the chart is days on the market. We're at 42 a month ago, now 43, just yeah. the last month. It's kind of lining out just like the uh, solds did on the other charts. So we're hanging in going into holiday and cold weather and times when the market normally slows down. So if we can line out, that's, that's actually good. But you're right, definitely better for buyers now than it was over what the past two and a half, three years. Yeah, and if, yeah. if you if you look back at a year ago, um, into the winter months, the days on market did the same thing. It, it, it just climbs a little bit. There's yep. traditionally less buyers looking in the market this time of year. Another good reason to buy a house in the winter, there's less competition. Uh, and the sellers who are putting their house on the market generally this type of year are really serious people yeah. that yeah. generally need to sell. So. Good time to think about buying in the early part of 2023. All right, we have one more chart for you, and that's the months of inventory chart. On the TV behind us here, we have the months of inventory chart, which showed a surprising dip uh, from the previous month. This was caused by just the amount of homes on the market and the slight uptick in pending sales that we saw actually caused the month of inventory to drop to 2.4 months. Uh, further evidence, Richard, that we're, we're in a neutral market, you know, one that no longer favors the seller 100%. You know, now it's kind of back to normal, like a 2018, 2019 market, don't you think? Well, it looks like it favors the buyers because the last market favored the seller so much, yeah. ridiculously. Good point. So neutral point here is good for both. You mm -hmm. know, sellers are still getting not top, but close to it. Buyers definitely can have a little more to pick from and get a house at normal price, maybe even a little below price or right at it, but get things done to the house, get work done, and not be competing with 10 offers. So mm -hmm. I think we're kind of more in a neutral market, just looks real good for the buyers compared to what they were taking all of last year. Yeah. yeah. So I think we're gonna see more of this uh, to come yeah. in the next year or so. Um, I think inventory levels will stay in the, that kind of neutral neutral range, you know, not favoring the buyer or seller. Uh, one of the reasons I think, you know, rates could climb, they could fall, who knows, buyer demand, affordability could wane. But on the flip side, there's a ton of homeowners out there who may not want to sell their homes because they're locked in at 3% rates, 3.5% yeah. rates, 2.5% rates, all those folks who would have sold maybe are just going to hang tight and say, I don't want to go buy another house because I don't want a 7% rate on the next house. So I think that that concept is going to limit the amount of homes coming on the market over, yeah. the, over the long run, the next couple of years even. Yeah, the uncertainty definitely mm -hmm. will limit that. Um, my opinion is that when the inflation loosens up, which uh, they said the other day on TV that it looks like it's showing indications of loosening, then so will the rates. So yeah. buyers and sellers, I think it's still a good market for both of you. you can't, yeah, definitely is. So if you guys had any question whatsoever on any of this information, or maybe the, the value of your house at this moment in time, feel free to reach out. Uh, we're here to answer any questions for you. What, and uh, thank you so much for watching our monthly housing market update video. Uh, they come out each and every month, so if you want to see next month to see where the market's gone, hit that subscribe button right down below if you're on YouTube, and we'll see them all next time. See you then.